Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is x to the power of x to the power of 3. And this equals 7 to 9. We are solving for the value of x that will satisfy this equation. So we have 3 here. You need to consider that. Because of this, we are going to raise each part of this equation to the power of 3 because we have 3 here. So what we are going to have will be x to the power of x to the power of 3. This is raised to the power of 3 again because we have 3 here. And this equals, here we have 7 to 9. And this is also raised to the power of 3. Now let's consider this in this law. If you have a to the power of n raised to the power of m, this equals a to the power of n raised to the power of n. So we are going to apply this identity right here. Now here is it. Here is how we are going to apply it. the x power 3 right here will represent this n. Now the 3 right here will represent this m. We are now going to transform it using this identity. Meaning that the m here will come inside this bracket. While the n which is this x power 3 and we are treating it like as a single term. Will then come outside the bracket by applying this identity. So let's do that quickly. That means we are simply going to have, remember the base still remains the same, x, which is the base. The m will come inside the bracket, just like what we have here, like I said earlier. So we have the 3 will come inside the bracket, which is this m here. Now the n will come outside the bracket, that means this will go outside the bracket, which is s to the power of 3. And this equals 7 to 9 to the power of 3. So the essence of using this particular identity was actually to transform this expression to this form. So right now we have x power 3 here. And this is x power 3. That means we have x power 3 raised to the power of x power 3. So the base is the same as the exponent. The base is the same as the exponent. Now here the base here is different from this exponent. So we have to ensure that this base and the exponent are the same. So for us to do that, I'm going to consider the fact that 7 to 9 equals 9 times 9 times 9. That means 7 to 9 equals 9 to the power of 3. 9 times 9 is 81. 81 times 9 is 7 to 9. So I'm simply going to have x to the power of 3 raised to the power of x to the power of 3 equals 9 to the power of 3, which is the sum to 9, raised to the power of 3. Now, going back to this particular entity, if you have a power n, raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. I have to multiply these three out. I have x power 3. Raised to the power of x power 3 equals 9 raised to the power of 3 times 3. That is 9. So at this particular point, this and this are the same. This and this are the same. So if you have a power a equals b power b, this simply means that a equals b. So I'm simply going to have x power 3 equals 9. 
That means I can easily solve for x by eliminating this 3. I can have x power 3. Raise 3 product 1 over 3. And this equals 9 raised 3 product 1 over 3. So if you make use of this same identity again, that means you can multiply this out and you are going to have x3 power, this is 3 over 3, equals 9 power 1 over 3. And 3 over 3 is 1. So that means I'm simply going to have x equals 9 power 1 over 3. Now remember, 9 is a perfect square, so I can have it as 9 is simply 3 power 2, and this is 3 power 1 over 3. So applying this identity, I have 2 times 1, that is 2, so I have 3 power 2 over 3. That is the value of my x, or I can make use of this identity. If you have a power n over m, this equals the m root of a to the power of n. Applying that here, that means my x equals, this is the cube root of 3 to the power of 2, which equals the cube root of 9, because 3 power 2 is 9. So this is my final answer. Now, the next thing I'm going to do will be to insert this particular value for x, and let's check if it's going to satisfy this equation. I have check. I have x equals can make use of other cube root of 9, or can make use of 9 to the power of 1 over 3, or I can make use of 3 to the power of 2 over 3. All these are the same answer. So, but in this context, I can make use of this. So, I'm going to recopy the question. That's x power x power 3 equals 7 to 9. So let's insert this or this. This is transformation of this, so you can just make use of this. Or even this one, you are still going to have the same thing. So let me go with this. So I have 3 to the power of 2 over 3. And this is raised to the power of x again, which is 3 to the power of 2 over 3. And this is raised to the power of 3. And this equals 7 to 9. So I'm going to make use of this identity a power n raised to the power of m equals a power n times m. Take note of this identity. This is what we are going to use all through this confirmation video. So I'm going to multiply this out 3 times 2. That is 6, 6 divided by 3. That is 2. So I'm simply going to have 3 to the power of 2 over 3 raised to the power of 3 to the power of, this is 6 divided by 3, that is 2. And this equals 7 to 9. So from here, I find the value of 3 power 2, that is 9. So I have 3 power 2 over 3. Raised to the power of 9, and this equals 7 to 9. 9 times 2, that is 18. 18 divided by 3, that is 6. So let me just have it as 3 power, 9 times 2, that is 18 divided by 3, equals 7 to 9. And from here, 18 divided by 3 is 6, so I have 3 power 6, equals 7 to 9. And what is 3 power 6? 3 power 6, you can simply express it as 3 power 6 is 3 times 2. This equals 7 to 9. 
So you can express as three power three or three power of two. And this equals seven to nine. Three power three is twenty-seven. So this was the writing twenty-seven to the power of two. And this equals seven to nine. Why is 27 power 2? This simply means 27 times 27. You can multiply that out. 7 times 7, 49. 9 carry over 4. 7 times 2, 14, 14 plus 4. That is 18. 2 times 7, 14. 4 carry over 1. 2 times 2, 4, 4 plus 1. We have 5. So we add, this is 9, this is 12, 2 carry over 1, but here, this becomes 7. So we see it, 7 to 9. So we have 7 to 9 equals 7 to 9. So that is it. The answer has proven to be correct, so see you again in our next video. Thank you and goodbye.